All right, our, our submachine gun has infinite ammo. I guess this is the way to go, really. Um, yeah. Well, we can't. Oh, okay, we could just go to the left. I guess. I guess going to the left, if we're gonna be crazy about it, that is an option. <laughs> I bet we can mow these down. Come on. There we go. The game is uh, somewhat linear in these these parts. I don't know why, but for some reason, I now have, uh, I, I guess it's because our first victim was Anna, but I now have the Silverchair Song, uh, Anna, Anna, what is it called? <coughs> Anna's Song or whatever, Open Fire, Please Die, Anna. <coughs> I have Alice, who the fuck is Alice, in my head. Uh, it's a great song. But you can't sing it out loud on the bus without getting nasty looks. Not as bad as when I, I caught myself starting to sing uh, from the musical Hair, Colored Spade. You don't sing that out loud either. Or I don't. One oughtn't. Probably a good idea. I didn't get very many syllables into it, though, so I, you know... Are, do we have too much or too little mel melanin for that to sing that song out loud? Too little. Too, yeah, we have too little melanin to sing that song out loud. Yeah. Also, singing show tunes on the bus is just not done. Yeah, I mean, unless it's the theater bus, right? I mean, uh... Oh, the theater bus. Now, maybe if, if I were on the theater bus, it would be more nice than when it was good. I'm not one of those people that's desperately looking for a loophole to say those words. Right, like my right. great 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 grandfather knew a black person once. I get to say the N word. If you ever saw that website, I don't think it's around anymore, but it was called blackpeopleloveus.com. It was, uh, it was yeah. like uh, kind of white, you know, bourgeois uh, people and, uh, hanging out with their black friends and, like, you know, they think it's so funny when I say things like raise the roof. And, uh, yep. And yeah, I see that. I, 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 I joked about, uh, I had a I had friends who were a lesbian couple at the time and we joked about me at lesbiansloveme.com and taking faux pictures of me showing them how to tie Doc Martens and tie the laces on Doc Martens and things like that. Yeah, a whole series of, uh, that sort of thing is possible. True. But I let's pick up the only no lesbians. <laughs> no nobody else of any sort of uh, minority at the time, so Amazing. Wow, Zach, you're really good with that friggin' oozing. <laughs> Shoot oh, the barrel. Blow this shit up. There we go. Yeah. Did you no good, but you had to do it. I understand. Geekmeister just cannot resist a barrel. Can you blame him? Or her? No, no, not really. The, the English gender-neutral masculine is pretty much a thing of the past. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Can you blame them? I guess that's really good. It's still kind of a, a tough habit to, to shift over, but it's not impossible. Well, I, I, I do that quite a bit, just by default anyway, so... Right. Well, the, the, the male is unmarked, so, like, I saw a person walking down the street, people <sighs> will assume male, usually. Uh, you, if it's a you, female, you, that's... you have to specify. Do you, do you think that's true, though, or do you think that's true uh -huh. because... Of our male gaze, like if if a woman reads a sentence, the person walked down the street, will she automatically assume that it's a woman? Uh, well, I guess one would have to do studies, but um, in issues <laughs> of uh, race, they've actually done studies where where an unmarked protagonist is assumed to be white by the black students and the white students. 
interesting because I had a uh, friend who was black who said the opposite was true for her. Um, well, uh, nothing is going to work for everyone equally. Yeah. Um, no, and... my study had one person, damn it, so it's pretty reliable. <laughs> well, the one I'm referencing uh, did not say every student, but most. Yeah. Hmm. But, like, clothed is the unmarked state in most situations, too. I saw sure. a person walking down the street. If I don't specify they're naked, I'm not going to assume they're naked. Right. right. And stuff like that. Right. Well, that, that didn't take much to free that door up. No. That door was easy. I, for some reason, I guess just because there is so much violence going on, I read that as stabilizer. <laughs> and I was like, what is that, a knife? A stabilizer? I said, yeah, I, I would name a knife that easily. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Red beans. Oh. And a music box. He, he said the sound of the music box is coming from inside there. I don't hear a music box, but... Well, no, I didn't notice it. I'll, uh, I'll just trust York here. <sighs> You know, it's interesting, uh, York talking to us as a narrator, have, have you watched Mr. Robot at all? I have not. It's on my to-do list, but I haven't watched it. Got it, yeah. I, I have fallen in love with the show, and that's one of the things that I like, is that they, they use narration, but it is the main character creates an imaginary friend because he's so lonely, and he talks to them, oh. and we, we are them. I like that. Uh, and they do some really fun things. Here, right? One of my favorite things is after a few episodes, the the you have to kind of start going to other people to see other things that are going on in the world, you know. Right. And uh, and when we come back to the narrator, he asks where we've been. Oh. That's cool. And and more than that, but I don't want to I don't want to get too much into it. If, if anyone listening has not seen Mr. Robot, and, and if you've stuck with us this long, then I think your interests are going to be similar enough that you would enjoy it. I would, also, you know, if you haven't listened to the Silver Chair album on which Anna's song is. <laughs> you know what would be cool? Is if someone Whoa, took our videos really? and commented over them like we're doing. Yeah. We're there's... Better. There's... Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Like Cybershell, and then some numbers, I think. Uh -huh. But there was a. Oh, oh shit! That door is talking to us. Um, I hate it when that happens. We got a quick time event our way out of this. Oh no, we gotta. Okay, we gotta do this thing. Um, he is this here is again. Intense. Oh, uh, so I, I think it's Cybershell or something. He did this uh, like God, probably 15 years ago now. He did this uh, let's play of. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, and it's just ridiculously foul-mouthed and crude, and it's hilarious. And um, he went back and did commentary over that first one, then he did commentary over that one, and he, and he looped it like six times, and uh, it just kept getting The head on that coat is attached a little strangely. So I've never seen a coat like that. That is definitely um, an idea. I suppose it could be a, so maybe that's what a matching hoodie next, under the coat. Uh, go through Deadly Premonition again. <laughs> listening to our commentary and comment on, oh man, what, what was going on that day? I must have been craving Cheetos. It's very tense. Still got the sparks like crazy on that thing, even though I think that's carpeting he's going over. The it moment. looks like carpeting, yes. <laughs> Um, so the the axe actually has a spark generator in it of some sort. Mm. Ooh, we should invent one of those for the haunted house. It's actually be too difficult. You know, I I see little YouTube clips of those guys, uh, and uh, I'm sure girls around the world who like to like make ridiculously oversized weapons, things like that. You know, um, yeah. I, I I would bet there's someone out there who's made like a self-sparking axe. I know. Um, I haven't seen him in a while, but we used to have, be able to get like little toys, like a little uh, Godzilla that shoots sparks, mm. and it, it looked like the same sort of mechanism you see in a disposable lighter. Um, 
so it seems like it would be easy to put that in, in the, the fat end of the blade. I will talk to our props manufacturer and see if we can do that this year. I think that'd be fun. Godzilla is nuclear breath. I don't care what it looks like that you saw, but it's actually powered by the atomic bomb. Yeah, it's a lot of sparks too. I, you know, I've I've run an axe across pavement. Uh, you do get occasional sparks, but nothing like that. It's it's. Yes, it's, I have dragged an axe on pavement. It's weird how you know. I don't <sighs> question. Um, Zach, this is a waste of time. Let's go. Yeah, investigating this murder is a waste of time. <laughs> um, it seems odd because it's like. From the way that things happen, it feels like, okay, this has to be supernatural, but then the killer, like, walks around a room and looks, even though it should know that you're in there, and so right. it's like, um, like, it feels like really kind of stupid supernatural, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the holding the breath... Um, helps hide from him too. Yeah. Which is, um, I think it's a Japanese folklore thing because I've I've seen that in uh, like some anime bits here and there. But uh, of course, the the um, easiest non supernatural explanation is that none of it's actually happening. Sure. Uh, but I don't think that answers everything by the end either. God, this stupid it, Requiem for a Dream camera having to figure it out being the player. I would hate this. Well, if you if you notice the um, uh, the the prompt at the bottom, you, you've got to rock the, the 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 little joystick back and forth, back and forth, back and oh, forth. Oh, I see. You're not running. you're not actually like running. You're just quick time eventing. Right. And uh, I haven't got this far in the game, but I am told that that's very tiring for your thumb. Oh, I bet. Doing that section. So if you need a thumb workout, you know, this is a way to get it. So wouldn't that be something? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes uh, I make a joke and it's just like I farted in an elevator. Uh, <laughs> I was going the route of I was trying to make a joke like, or you could date a Catholic girl, but it just didn't. Uh... Mm. It doesn't. It's what it's kind of like a Japanese no joke. Like it, the comedy comes from however you fill it out to make sense in your head. Right. My uh, my favorite off-color humor comes that way. My bloody camisole is one of my favorite bands. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. We're going to see the profiling now. Who's saying, stop, okay. I promise I won't tell, or whatever. Ranko killer. Blurry face. Blurry thing. There's no new information here. Ahead. So, so Becky knew about Anna's death, apparently. Is that you're getting way more out of this than me? Like a really muscly arm, uh, somebody's face—they might be dead or really seepy. You're getting an awful lot from you. Took it, piece of women's underwear. Eh, I'm sure he used gloves or whatever. Uh, yeah, obviously. Now uh, this uh shadow? I can't remember what they're officially called. Right. He's got a golf club. Yeah. Of course. Because of course he does. <laughs> I like how it was set up as like, oh this shit getting real now, and then you're just like butta butta done. Yep. You are rewarded for doing the side quests by by being a bit more badass. Yeah. It does take some of the drama out of some of these moments. Whoa. And then we went oh, to I forgot to set up the hot dogs again. Damn. And we went to heaven. Some point before the end of the game, I'll do it. Bad. Yeah. Very bad, Zach. It's a very bad boy, Zach. Zach I must spank it. Hold on.
Yes. Oh, okay. Holding on. God, I don't even remember who Becky is at this point. She's the one that wouldn't talk to him every time he came to the door. Oh, uh, okay. She's, uh... Emma's friend. Right. She dating Quint? Zack the bathroom, quick. Yeah, she was dating Quint and, and uh, turned down his uh, gift. <laughs> Heavy cigarettes. That's how cigarettes are rated. She's definitely something here. Stabilizer. <laughs> you brought her, you stabilizer. Uh, is this even the bathroom? Like, I got so turned around from where we were. I feel like this is where we came in, not the bathroom. But it's the bathroom, fuck it. Fuck physics. Oh, there's a, stabilizer, a stabilizer, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Still dripping. Like a good Catholic girl? I don't know, I don't really know. That. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like an album cover. <laughs> yeah. Nine Inch Nails or something? I was thinking more like Iron Maiden, but... Sure. Judas Priest, stabilize her. A little uh, psycho moment there with the blood down the drain. Sure, sure, with the Hershey sauce down the drain. Yes. I just found a corpse. I'm going to stop and smoke. Oh, she's okay. Maybe we should have checked that first, York. Yes. I don't know about okay. That might be uh, <laughs> overstating. Here. <laughs> she's still they, got they her little have to go through all the zombies. On. She's trying to speak. We don't have time. She's dying. Thomas, cut that wire. No! We must get her to the hospital immediately. What? Oh, what? <laughs> what are you doing? Get out of the way. I'll do it. No. Don't. George. <laughs> George, listen. George, listen. Uh oh. It's gonna go badly. A little bit of a saw moment coming. Come on, George. Jesus. Uh, what? Don't try to think too hard about how that was, uh, Rube Goldberg. <laughs> but it looks pretty. I mean, sure. When the resolution is high enough. I, okay, okay. Like she's, are these tentacles that she's being strangled by? Fabric. Uh, okay. Boy, I guess I could have helped her there, but, oh well, I was busy smoking. Yeah, and plenty of time to go over there and lift her up so she wasn't strangling. Right, right. Gotta have your dramatic moment. She t still twitched. Get the... Now there are no. Why is nobody moving? <laughs> Bastards. Well, apparently Thomas ran in real quick and undid the fabric because there was no fabric oh. there. Yeah. Hey, I'm a random woman. That's Anna. Oh. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anna's welcoming her into the afterlife. Hey, yeah. um, guess I got a job as a psychopomp now. Hope you're doing okay. <laughs> now that's a fancy word. Oh, no, I'm still and alive. I am still okay. You, you really could have stopped my death like three or four times now. <laughs> Giving you another chance here. Oh, the fabric is back, I guess. Don't touch him. He's the jerk that killed her, technically. <laughs> Yay, vomiting! Always good in a dramatic moment. You got us good this time, Zach. Yeah. I, I, you got you good. I, You're the one that... It's yeah. all about you, isn't it, York? Key for the safe? What do you suppose is in the safe? That she had the key in her mouth. What a hell. <laughs> hmm. I think I'm going to start saying that. I kind of <laughs> like it. Is it supposed to be what the hell or what a hellish sort of, you know? I mean, which one was it? Yeah, I don't know. What a hell. But I, I can definitely think of instances where, where both interpretations... Oh, were... right. uh, you want to rinse out your mouth or something, Thomas? Maybe Just... he did off-screen. I actually saw a, a sign at like a hairdresser's the other day that uh, there's their little billboard sign outside said, Walk ends 
welcome. And I was like, did that person not understand what walk-in means? <laughs> I find people make different sorts of mistakes depending on whether they're, you know, typing, handwriting, or, or doing something on a, on a board. Um, you see some weird typos on yeah. chalkboards. I, I knew someone who used to say, for all intensive purposes. Yeah, that's pretty common. Is it? Oh, okay. Uh, the blank diary, I guess? You just put a cigarette out? Oh, no. Okay. Look at that, I, dr that I drew always a dick. <laughs> yeah, the shading with a pencil always 100% of the time works. <laughs> One of my favorite bits in Big Lebowski. My dear sister. Oh, wow. Well, that's so, fine so sorry. To read that way. Yeah. I was a fool to fall for a man like him. But he and really likes my F-I-R-E. Oh. Nice reference. <laughs> Her there. That's that's not she's, she's not really so there. So right. And I just ran away. I know he wanted to kill me too. Is it just me or does it look like she would actually tip over if she were sitting like that? Yeah, at first I thought she was against the bed, but now I'm like, now I guess she isn't, uh, and this much like everything else in the game, it doesn't quite add up. No, oh, and now she's sitting on the bed. I guess since she's a memory it doesn't yeah. matter. Even though she was dead. She let go of it for me, though. She's still tip over, especially on the bed. Ah, uh, uh, shoes on the bed, young lady. Must be a translation error. But she let it go for me, though. You don't need both the but and the though. I know even he wouldn't dare to harm you. For some reason, that mirror makes her look He'll like a giant me, teddy bear. Though, if I go into town, I'm trapped uh, in my house. Okay. So I've asked Isaac and Isaiah to deliver it. What? I totally believe that Anna became a goddess. You're dealing with a serial killer who wants to kill me, so I'm going to give something he wants to these children. That's a good idea. You're a great babysitter. <laughs> I also gave Isaac and Isaiah the gun. <laughs> and some heroin. <laughs> they make great mules. <laughs> mules also a reference to the shoe. You can double, double entendre that. So kind of a Becky shoe, a <laughs> is Miss Stiletto Heel, and she gave the locket to the twins. Must be the special secret Lily told us about, Zach. We better it's go like, and see it's her It's a lame secret. Tomorrow. You can try for an entendre a trois. Sure. <laughs> Emily, who might this sister be that Becky was referring to here? The nun. That would be Diane. Didn't you know Diane and Becky were sisters? Or is there a nunnery nearby, Emily, oh. just in case? I think this game needs nuns. I, I think that would add a lot to the game. <laughs> add a lot to any game, really. Mm -hmm. When Chapter 3, When Nuns Attack. <laughs> Not that long ago, every time a movie had a crowd scene, there, there were nuns. Like, sort of to, to represent the disparate kinds of people. They'd have nuns and sailors. <laughs> yeah. Only white people, but nuns and sailors, to show variety. Don't, he's not listening to you. End of chapter. Wait, didn't we uh, just start that chapter? This was a short chapter. Alright. I think a, a murder kind of fills the whole chapter. He didn't even earn much this way, this time. 